Ooh, coming back for that number two, uh, Slipknot. My thoughts on Iowa. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Cyberland coming back to you with another album review. Ooh boy. Slipknot's Iowa. So, I'm still in high school, and at this point, I've seen the Left Behind video, and this is also around the time the Resident Evil movie came out with, uh, I forget the name. But, uh, I think it was Mila Djokovic, I think that's what it was. But anyway, <laughs> um, saw the Left Behind video, very dark, very twisted, what the hell? Masks have now changed for the band. Of course, you know, the song was cool, you know, I wasn't, again, I wasn't, um, my mind wasn't really with, uh, I wasn't ready for Slipknot just yet to be part of my catalog. It just hadn't grabbed me yet. But I did did, knew, did know what I thought about the band at this point. I was nine members and what do we have, you know. And then I heard My Plague. And My Plague, I actually, <coughs> sorry. That was the first time I heard a lot more melody than just wait and bleed from Slipknot. And even still, I was just like, oh, that's cool, you know, I'll listen to it, you know, and I did. Enjoyed it. However, I just wasn't really, Slipknot was just not really a band I was really taking that much time to uh, entertain, you know. Doesn't mean bad, it was just I just wasn't, again, my mind wasn't there yet. And, of course, fast forward a couple years later, Iowa blew up for the band. It, it was just, there was something about this album that really grabs a lot of fans. It's not my favorite album by them. However, I think it is, um, hands down, this is their hardest album. It is their darkest album. Um, it's the most aggressive, the most angry, um, and it represents a very dark period for the band in general. Apparently, the members never got a break from making the first album to the second. The record label wanted them to go in and make another album like that. So there was never time to wind down and break apart from each other and get space. So they had to go right back into the studio. And that put a lot of pressure on them um, with trying to do a follow-up. And the members did not like each other. They were not liking what they were doing. I don't know if there was actual fights, but I just know there's a lot of arguing, a lot of talking shit about other members or whispering, going, talk about each other behind their back kind of thing going on. And I think Corey, I, I don't know if he was detoxing yet. I, 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 I don't want to, I'm not sure, I forget. But I just know couple members were into some drug use that was going on that wasn't helping um, and some some members have family losses um, the attitude just in general was this band did not want to make this album they didn't want to do it they were being forced to do it and that brought out a lot of just emotions and then they had to go back on tour so it was very exhausting and this was the result of it. I think people who always say, ah, oh, Slipknot needs to make another Iowa, I don't think they... I personally believe that if they even tried to do that again, I think two things would happen. One, some... Or three things. One, somebody might die. Two, somebody might end up in a mental ward. Or three, 
they wouldn't make they the band would break up afterwards because uh, this is not healthy. Like the album, what it represents, I get it, but music should be a re- uh, uh, it should be a way to express yourself. But you shouldn't be hating what you're doing and, and hating the people around you while you're doing it. That's not healthy. That's not good for uh, one's mental state, one's uh, spiritual um, spirituality, if, if you believe in that type of thing. That's it's just not it's not healthy. And I feel like trying to recreate that environment. Mm-mm, I don't. And I don't know how the other members... I, I, I've read things and watched documentaries about this album. And I don't think any other members of the band would like to, to go back to doing to trying to make an album like that ever again. They want to make good music. And they want to make, make music that they enjoy. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure that when they play certain songs, it kind of, for maybe certain members of the band, it kind of strikes a chord with them and not in a good way. The fans enjoy it, and that's why they play the music to for the fans. But at the same time, um, it makes members feel some type of way about a certain song, what was done to craft that song, and how it came out. And then it could also be that they become so desensitized to the album that that's why they're able to play it. Because um, some of the things that members mentioned about making this album is just really disturbing. Especially the last track, what Corey had to do to write that track, and that's just, that's very disturbing. Uh, my rating for this album is a 5 out of 5 yes sirs, and I think I give it more of that rating, because I don't like it better than Slipknot, their debut. I still like it, I still enjoy it, but I think what makes this a better album than Slipknot is because everything that had to go into making it. If, if that makes sense for people watching. Uh, the stuff that had, the stuff that was, the way it was crafted to make it what it is and when they talk about the album and what it took to make it and uh, the feelings behind it, I think that's what makes it a stronger effort and also makes it a better album in the threshold, in the sense of things, for the band. If, if that makes sense for people watching. And I'm pretty sure there's fans that feel Iowa is their best album. Um, I feel it is up there, I, I but I can't say I feel it's my favorite album by them. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but it is, it is up there. So, um, this album stepped it up a notch for everything the first album had, so... If you are able to take in the first album, this one should be no problem for you. Um, but understand that you're you're gonna get it. <laughs> you're gonna get a lot. What, what you got in the first album is, is nothing compared to what you're gonna get on this album in regards to everything's turned up to, to like if, if Slipknot's debut was at dial five, this is turned up to dial twenty. You know that that's how much everything's up, and it, it just doesn't let up. Um, you know, even some of the, the tracks, the names of them are just... Yeah! So, uh, I would say, you know, check it out if, if the person got your attention. I would, inv- I would not advise, if you're really interested in Slipknot, I would, have, I would not advise listening to this album first. I would advise listening to anything from their catalog before you go into this album. Well, I would say listen to anything besides All Hope Is Gone in this album if you're gonna get if you want to know about Slipknot. Like those two albums, save that for once you got into like two or three albums. Or or if you've already heard the first thing, of course go to Iowa. But if you haven't heard the first yet, you're you're in the fifth or sixth or third album, you know, then you know it's just I would not listen to this first. But I also wouldn't listen to this last. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, uh, let's uh, cue the music. Yeah! 